Hello YouTubers. I want to demonstrate my mech slugger press here. I've got uh, got it in 12 gauge. I bought this not too long ago um, and I bought it to make shotgun slugs in 12 gauge. Um, what I've got is the process on it is very similar to many of the other mech products. Um, you uh, Punch out your primer, size the hull, install the new primer, drop your powder charge, and in this case I'm using the Lyman 525 pellet slugs, and what I'm going to do is get it in here started, and then feed it down, you can see it's pressed down there. And the first stage of this press, it starts the crimp, pushes it down around the slug, gets it started. The second one pushes it completely around and gives you a good seal. And the final step gives you a nice little rounded end that'll let it feed good in semi-autos. Now the mix that I'm using uh, works equally well with a uh, Rio, new Rio hull that I've got here. And what I'm doing is, is using this charger wad from BPI. Push it in. Starts a crimp. Second stage. And final. Okay, and those, uh, get these for about $6.99 a hundred, which isn't too bad of a price. Um, and uh, I can also, in, in the load that I've got going here is um, it's kind of light for this other but I've got these uh, Lee drive key slugs in 7 8 ounce that I'm using and I have to use two of the nitro cards and the, the mix that I have here is a little a little slow for the 7 8 ounce, but it works okay. Um, and just for demonstration purposes, with the Lee drive key slug, it presses down there and gives you a really good gas seal. It works really well, and then, of course the Winchester does the same. Um, one of the things I want to show is this is those Winchesters as I got them. And then I've shot this one here with one of the slugs with the Lyman slug in it. You can see it rounds it out pretty good. So when you use it again after you've inspected it, the, uh, the wad actually goes in to these the next time around much better. Um, the powder. I think I'll do the lineman on this one. As you can see they push in very nicely the second time around. I have a BPI hull conditioning tool that I can use on those that that works real well. It does a good job. Um, I don't know that I would run those with a slug more than a couple of times. I think that would probably be it. But this is a great product. I really enjoy using it. Uh, you can adjust it for different hulls. and, and uh, It's really designed to use with those sabot type slugs. Uh, I've tried it on the thug slug and it works for that. Uh, it's not quite as pretty. Um, but it's, it's a great product and uh, I highly recommend it.